it's more of a want than a need, I have to admit. Hopefully by the end of this video, this section looks a lot cleaner. Sunday's in Ikea. <laughs> Me and Chelsea on a bad day. Very exciting update. We've got very grey foliage vibes happening. Oh my goodness, I am so happy with this. Let's get to work, my friends. Today, my friends, we are doing the ultimate cozy winter bedroom transformation. Every year, I like to switch up my bedroom a little bit for the winter season. But when I tell you that this year I'm going all out, I ain't no liar, let me tell you that. I'm going to start off by showing you some before shots of my bedroom. And then we're going to crack on with the transformation. I'm so excited. P.S. Just a little disclaimer. Apologies if this video is a bit here, there and everywhere. Obviously, these things don't happen overnight. But I'm going to try my best to keep everything everything on track and easy to follow so let's get on with it so I thought I would show you guys my bedroom in its truest form so I'm currently standing at the door where you walk in and this little narrow walkway is what I really don't like about this room it's become really small and enclosed so I'm excited to change this a little bit so when you first walk in this is what you see here's a general overview i've got all my skincare in this alex drawer to the left and then on top of there i've got pamela the plant she's staying she's one of my besties like up there with my top five girls i've got a whole bunch of food as well some oreos some little ornaments that mean a lot to me it's a bit of a mess i'm gonna sort it out and then on top of the other alex drawers which i have all my makeup in i have a random collection of items this is the part of my room that i like the least I feel like it's bulky. I've never liked these doors because they're a slightly different white to the drawers and it just grates on me. I hate it. But in here I have like shampoos, nail stuff, my hair dryer, straighteners. So all of the storage you can see in this shot is just for makeup, skincare and beauty stuff. It is excessive. I'm excited to have a clear out and sort this situation out. Hopefully by the end of this video this section looks a lot cleaner. And then this is my dressing table. Random collection of items on here. I really liked this sparkly vibe a while ago so I put diamantes on everything but now the sparkles are just not a bit of me so I'm going to change this as much as I can obviously the actual dressing table is quite ornate and I'm not going to be changing that just because it would be too expensive but I'm going to change the things on it and hopefully that will help I've also got a little telly and a skybox on the wall up here but I never use this telly because it's too small and my eyesight is so bad that I can't even see it from my bed which is right here so I think I might get rid of this telly it's just a bit inconvenient but anyway then moving over to I guess the main part of my bed bedroom the bed so these are actually decennio prints up here and i absolutely love them i feel like they go with the vibe of this room so well however they are going to be changed for the time being my whole bed is going to change as well and i'm so excited about that and then obviously on my bedside tables i've also gone for this sparkly vibe obviously over here i also have my wardrobes and i think i'm going to change my wardrobe doors we'll see so that is a general overview of what my bedroom looks like right now. Let's transform it. Let's get to work, my friends. Okay, so here's the dealio. I feel like one of the most effective ways to change your bedroom is to change the little bits and bobs. You don't have to change just the big things. I think especially if you've got any wall art, any prints on your wall, every time I've changed those, it changes the entire vibe of my bedroom. So I'm very excited to say that this video is actually in collaboration with Decenio. And if you've never heard of Decenio, one, where have you been? So, let me enlighten you, my friend. Decenio are a website that sell prints, frames, picture ledges, all of your picture print decoration needs. Trust me when I say that their items are so reasonably priced. Honestly, that is why I love the website. But the lovely team over at Decenio have actually given you guys a discount code. So if you are looking to switch up your bedroom a little bit this winter, make sure you use the code FABULOUS at the checkout and you'll get 30% off your prints across the Decenio website. But be quick because this code lasts from the 3rd of December to midnight on the 5th of December. So you've got two days, my friends. Get in there quick, get your prints, I'm about to show you mine. I'm absolutely obsessed with them. Every time I choose my prints from Decenio, it takes me hours, I kid you not, hours to pick them out because there's so many to choose from. When I say I'm going for a darker vibe, I mean I'm going for a darker vibe. Look how stunning this picture is. You can get all different sizes as well and this one is size 30 centimeters by 40 centimeters, just for reference. The next one I think is possibly my favorite print I've picked out. I mean, look at that. 
Isn't that just such a beautiful picture? I'm going to create a little gallery wall. So I've got all different sized prints. So another one that I've got to lighten it up a little bit is this one, this little succulent. I love the colour of this and I think it complements colours like this really well. But then the main colour that I'm going to throw into my bedroom is this sort of like wine colour. I've got one more big picture for the gallery wall. Here we have some little flowers. I like this print because it was dark and light. It's not too much of either. And the final one, this one is so cute. She's so little it's just like a little line drawing i thought it was really cute really pretty and i thought it would add to the gallery wall really nicely for every single print i went for a silver frame so those are the prints to go above my bed but there's more so for the wall opposite my bed i actually picked up a couple of these picture ledges as you can see the shelf is really narrow so it doesn't stick out of the wall too much and what i'm planning on doing is i have two of these this is 70 centimeters long i'm going to cut one down a little bit purely because i've seen this picture online that i absolutely love I'll insert the picture here. So I love the style of this. So the first print I knew I wanted was this succulent because I love this picture. Obviously it matches the succulent with the other side of the wall as well. And then I also wanted to throw in a bit more red. So I've got this flower. And then finally, to match my other little cute picture, I got this one with just one singular flower. Don't forget guys, if you are gonna order anything from Decenio to use the code FABULOUS to get 30% off your prints. Save yourself a bit of money, get some beautiful pictures. It's a win-win. Anyway, I am so excited to put all these prints up. I just wanna get on with it like right now. So let's do just that. I'm currently just trying to map out on this big bit of paper where all my prints are gonna go. I've laid them out roughly and I'm using a ruler in between each one to make sure they're straight. Basically, my idea is that after I've done this I'm going to mark with a pencil where they all go so that I know where to put the hooks on the wall. Do you get me? I think there's method to my madness. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love the combinations. Not gonna lie guys, I feel like I absolutely smashed this gallery wall. I'm loving this dark, cozy vibe. So, it is a brand new day. Oh, I need some Vaseline on these lips. You know when it's a bit cold outside and your lips are just feeling it. But anyway, today I'm actually off to Ikea because I wanna get some like little bits and bobs for my bedside tables and also the lamps that I've got from the range. When you order them, it said like, we don't know what color you're gonna get. And lucky me getting one gray lampshade and one orange lampshade. So I'm going to go and see if they've got any lampshades at Ikea to replace them with. I'm going with one of my best friends, Chelsea, because she's also moving out soon. So very exciting. I can't believe the day has come where I'm going to Ikea with a friend who's moving out and she needs like cutlery and stuff like that. So we're currently testing the mattresses. What do you think of this one? Medium firm? It's very squishy. I kind of feel like... I feel a bit seasick. Too not, squishy. Yeah. What a cute Sunday. Sunday's in Ikea. So we're in the lighting department and I'm currently looking for lampshades. I've seen this one, but I think it's too big and I don't really like that it's slanted. So I think I might have to continue my search for a lampshade. We've now come for a quick pit stop at the range. Chelsea's never been to the range before, have you? I haven't. I'm so excited for your first range experience, Chelsea. <laughs> Tag yourself, me and Chelsea on a bad day. Very exciting update. I've got a little bit of foliage for my vase and also I found a couple of grey lampshades in the range. I knew the range would provide. Thank you very much. So I just got back and I thought I would quickly do a little summary of what I got. So from Ikea, I got this little succulent. I really like the darker leaves on it. And then I also got this little grey pot for it. I think that's super cute. I absolutely love this plant pot as well. It's so nice. Also got a little candle because I thought that would go in there nicely in the mix. And then this vase, which I absolutely love. And then as you saw in the range, I got this little leafy thing and my two little grey lampshades. We've got very grey foliage vibes happening. Another day, another Ikea trip. So I've decided that I do indeed want to change the wardrobe doors behind me. I just feel like these ones are a little bit too shabby chic vintage vibe do you know what i mean and i'm going for more of a fresh modern but cozy vibe now so i just don't like the paneling on these doors anymore they don't need to be changed it's more of a want than a need i have to admit so today i'm going to head there with my mum and we're going to go and pick up possibly some wardrobe doors <laughs> Hey 
Okay, so I just got back from Ikea. As you can see behind me, here are my new wardrobe doors. I think my dad and I are going to actually fit them tonight because they're super easy. So they had like this mat with a little bit of a sheen, as you can see there. Or they had like gloss white. I'm not going to lie, I did prefer the gloss white. However, I take a lot of like outfit pictures and film in this mirror. And sometimes I use lighting for that. So the light would bounce off of the doors too much. It would just look faffy. So that's why I've gone for the matte sheeny ones i've just lent one door up against the wardrobe and i actually didn't realize how off-white these old doors are until i put this new door next to it so everyone say goodbye farewell to the panel doors you've lasted well my friends but unfortunately you have expired quite an exciting update guys you might notice this is looking a little bit different so today is currently monday and over the weekend i had a massive clear out which meant that these drawers were completely empty so I've actually sold them. The woman's coming to pick them up today. I have also gone through this and a lot of this is now empty. The stuff that is in here is going to fit in the new cabinet now. So I'm going to sell those next. But oh my gosh, progress. Finally, it feels so much clearer without the drawers there. It's a new day. It's a new dawn. It's a new life for me. And today is a very exciting day. So please excuse my appearance. I wasn't actually planning on filming today. However... Something very exciting has arrived. So this is my current bed. It's obviously a double bed. It's just white faux leather. It lifts up. It's an ottoman. It's quite plain and simple. I've had it for like, I think five years maybe. Until today, my friends. When the lovely team over at Arista Living got in contact and said they'd like to send me a bed, I was like, oh my God, how could I not? So goodbye, little white bed, because today my big grand grey bed has arrived goodbye friend progress has been made under the bed is now all cleared out there was so much stuff under here from like school folders to my christmas decorations camera equipment you name it it was under this bed oh my goodness it's done it's up i'm so happy with it i just need to put my bed sheets on now and everything like that i was a little bit worried about going for dark gray instead of light gray but because this wall is light gray i didn't think the light gray bed would look right so i was like do you know what i'm gonna bite the bullet go for dark and i'm so glad i did because i love the contrast of it with the rest of the room so guys it's now another day i've now decided to change the little mirror that's in my bedroom because my one's quite sparkly and sparkly is just not the vibe i'm going for anymore so i ordered this one it is yellow which obviously not the color that i'm going for in my bedroom however the black version of this not only was going to be two to three weeks to arrive but was also 30 pounds more expensive so i thought you know what i'm going to get the yellow and i'm going to repaint it myself it's now wednesday and today i need to build this new like chest of drawers for my room so i've got all the bits down here i don't know how it's gonna go it's not from ikea and the ikea instructions are usually really easy and really like straightforward to follow these instructions are not this is what i'm working with this is it this is the whole instructions it looks like mathematical and this girl is not into maths so i'm gonna try and have to figure out what all of these pieces do this should be fun catch me in about four hours but i still haven't finished it yay finally it did take quite a long time in the end but i think it looks so much better than the two cabinets that were there and i've already moved all of my stuff over so i've got like my hair stuff in there i'm so pleased with how that looks it takes up so much less space in my room my room feels so much bigger now and the mirror is up i absolutely love it i think it looks so nice i actually got this cabinet from wayfair not gonna lie it's not the best quality and it was 199 pounds so it wasn't cheap i'm not sure to be honest with you guys if i would recommend this cabinet i mean it looks nice but it's definitely not the best and the instructions that i showed you earlier oh my god horrific my dad had to help me with the entire thing because i just could not do it we got there in the end lay you awake until the morning in an ocean so deep got a feeling like i'm darkness whenever you're next to me because i've climbed high Just 
And just like that, we've finished. It has been a mighty long process, this bedroom. I would say I've been working on this for like over a month. Like I said, it is now finished. I'm gonna do some swanky after shots and insert them right now. And then for those of you guys who wanna know where everything is from, keep watching until after the swanky after shots because I'm gonna run through absolutely everything in my bedroom. So, roll the fancy shots. Got my head over water for the first time in years Got my feet crossed the border from a land of tears Ain't no way I'm going back under Got my eyes in the wild blue yonder Will lies be on the horizon? Let's go find out Oh my goodness, I am so happy with this. And then my friends, let's do the run through. So as you walk into my bedroom, obviously this is what it now looks like. I've got this smaller unit to this side. I've still got my Alex drawers this side because they are super handy, but I have had a massive, massive clear out of everything. So I'm gonna start off with this area of my room because I feel like this is the main area. So this is how my bed turned out. If you wanna know more about this specific bed, go and check out my Instagram. I think I'll probably have a highlight section on my page all about this bed because I'm obsessed with it and then my actual duvet cover I had a bit of a faff with this so as you can see it's like this teddy bear material it is super soft and cozy and the two pillowcases at the back are obviously a darker grey so originally I bought the entire set in the dark grey but then Arista got in contact and wanted to gift me the dark grey bed so I thought light grey bedding would probably look better however I kept two of these pillowcases because I really like this contrast so the dark grey ones are from Dunelm they are the softest ones I'm not gonna lie and then these ones I got from Amazon. It came with the duvet cover and the two pillowcases. My two red, they look very red on camera. They're actually more of like a plum colour, sort of like a purpley red. So those two pillowcases are from Amazon as well. And then I think these little cushion covers are also from Amazon. I'm going to try and link as much as I can in the description down below for you guys. I absolutely love these. I think the little pom-poms are adorable. It's just a nice little detail. And then this little blanket on the end is actually fleecy on one side. So it's going to be so cozy in the winter when I'm like watching a film or whatever. This blanket is from Sainsbury's. It was £37, so a little bit more expensive than I would usually pay for a blanket, but it's like velvet on one side and then the fleecy on the other. I absolutely love it. Obviously, my prints are from Decenio. I am so happy with how these look. I feel like they look perfect with this whole bed as well. I just love this colour scheme I've gone for, the dark grey and the red. Super cozy and wintery, I think. Then over on my first bedside table, these two lamps that I've got on my bedside table tables are from the range. Then I've just got a little Yankee candle over here in the scent festive cocktail. Obviously I'm not going to light this when it's here because of the curtain. This little plant is from Ikea and these coasters are from the range. Then on my other bedside table this plant is actually from Sainsbury's. I did originally buy one from the range but I prefer this one. It's a little bit more simple. This dark grey vase is from Ikea and I've filled it with stones which I also got in Ikea because I didn't want it to look see-through. My alarm clock I got ages ago on Amazon. I don't use it as an alarm I just use it for the time and this reed diffuser is from the body shop and it's in the scent salted caramel and vanilla okay moving around to my wardrobes so this is what my finished wardrobes look like obviously I changed the doors on these it cost me 125 pounds to change the five doors so that is a little bit pricey but it changes the vibe of my bedroom so much and they just look so much fresher and cleaner. Obviously my Alex drawers, I've still got Pamela the plant on the top and I also have these on the top of the drawers. So this was actually my grandma's. She used to have this on her dressing table before she passed away so I absolutely love that. And this was actually left in the house that I bought in Leeds so it's like a little reminder. Then moving round to this part of my bedroom, I feel like this is one of the parts that has changed the most. I'm going to put a little before and after picture in here because I honestly cannot believe the difference. It's like, look at that. I can't believe how cluttered and clumpy it used to look before. It never felt like it was cluttered, but now that this is the end result, I'm thinking, oh my goodness. 
I don't know how I coped with that. <laughs> Maybe that was what was making me feel stressed subconsciously. But anyway, like I mentioned, this chest is from Wayfair. So these three prints and frames are all from Decenio. I love that they match this side of the room. This little candle's from Ikea. These two little glass things, I don't really know what they're for, they're just like decoration. They're from H&M Home. This little plant is from Ikea as well. Then moving down, I've got, right now I have a little Christmas tree. This is from m and I absolutely love her. She's also got fairy lights. Let me turn them on. How cute! Oh my gosh, it's so Christmassy. I love it. Her name is Penny. Penny the Piscea. I didn't know that's what a real Christmas tree is called either. This reed diffuser is from Dunelm. It smells classy. That's all I can describe it as. And then over the other side of the drawers, I have a couple of pictures of my friends and I. These wooden photo frames are also from the range. This candle's from Sainsbury's and this little pot is from H&M Home. And in here, I just have a few little crystals. I haven't really ever spoken about this, but I do feel like quite in sync with psychicness and crystals and things like that. Psychicness. <laughs> just got those in a little pot there and I really like how all of this area looks together anyway moving on to the mirror i know you guys have already seen this bit so i'm just going to be quick like i said before it's from made.com and i'm so happy with the color that it turned out when we customized it i feel like the shape of this mirror complements the room really well and then the final part of my bedroom is my dressing table not that much has changed here to be honest so i obviously changed the little handles on the drawers they're very similar they're just from ikea and they don't have a diamond in them the candle is the same one i had before also from ikea this little plant i've had for ages so I'm not sure where it's from but it's a fake plant. I've had a massive clear up of this area <laughs> and then over here my new makeup pot I really love that it's darker. That is from Ikea and this little grey pot matches so well but this is actually from Amazon and we've also taken the telly down. It feels so much clearer. That is everything in my bedroom now. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. I think my favourite area has got to be the bed, the prints above my bed, my bedside tables. I am just obsessed with it. I'm so pleased with how it's turned out. So guys, that brings us to the end of this video. Whew, this has been a long one in the making, let me tell you. <laughs> Don't forget, if you are going to order any prints from Decenio, to use the code FABULOUS for 30% off all of their prints across the site. But remember, you've got to be quick because the code expires at midnight on the 5th of December. If you spotted anything else in this video and I've forgotten to say where it's from, let me know in the comments down below and I will be sure to answer any of your questions. I'm going to be checking the comments of this video really thoroughly to try and help you guys out. But anyway, I think that is all. So give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you love my new bedroom as much as I do. Do subscribe to see my future videos. There are going to be a lot more coming with this exact background. But anyway, I hope you're having a lovely week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon with another little video. Bye guys!